Hey, so we are out here and it is a absolutely gorgeous day. Uh, you know, we had that big blizzard a couple days ago and uh, we've, you know, cleaned ourselves out. And now uh, I've been getting some wood from our woodshed and uh, <laughs> we burned through quite a bit since uh, the last time we were in here. Uh, so here's what we got left on that side. Um, and it is just the end of January. No, today's February 1st. So, uh, so at any rate, so what we're doing now is I've got a big pile of buck logs here. And uh, I'm trying to dig them out. In addition, uh, one of our neighbors, we're going to help them out. And we're going to give them some uh, firewood uh, to get them through a couple of days. We've got some warmer temperatures coming here. And so we'll be able to get to the bigger logs. Uh, and so will they. So, but just to get them there, we're going to hook them up with some wood. And uh, since it is such an absolutely beautiful day, I'm going to dig out our wood. So, here we go. <laughs> folks so today is kind of a cool day it's a little warmer uh, and we are out on the snow machine today and just kind of putzing around uh, I tried to get up over here and get in there and break a trail but uh, <laughs> the snow was a little deceiving and uh, the other sled we got stuck and uh, spent quite a bit of time trying to get that out but here we are so we're gonna go for a ride <laughs> So we are getting another crazy amount of snow. Uh, it's been snowing since late yesterday and I think we're probably at about, if I had to guess, somewhere between eight and 10 inches. Uh, some of the bigger issues we've had to face uh, right now is, you know, here's my canopy and boy, is it sagging kind of tell so we've got to get the uh, snow off of the canopy i added these ropes here as uh kind of helps support it and it seems to be working really good um but uh we still got to get the snow off of it so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now
I'll tell you, it doesn't take much to get these things filled with snow, but it uh, doesn't take much to get them cleaned off either. Uh, with the amount of snow we've got, I'll tell you, we are having to do a lot of cleanup. Uh, I'm running the snow blower uh, to try to keep all the paths cleaned up. If I let it go too much without running it, uh, this stuff just packs in and just becomes a real bear uh, to get cleaned up. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to keep running the snow blower and keep these paths cleaned up and uh, yeah, keep us open. I'm out on the road here and I don't know if you can see, but if you look behind me here down the road, it doesn't look so bad. You know, the banks are kind of tightening up on the road, but uh, we have a neighbor uh, who is running the snow plow down this road. Uh, but uh, in conjunction with that, we're running our V plow. Now this is a drag behind plow that I built uh, and it's a very simple design. So it's basically got, uh, they are two by 10, hemlock beams I think they're yeah I think they're 10 inches wide two inches thick uh, and then I've just got some support beams in the center uh, here in the corner which is hard to see right now since it's filled with ice and snow there's a big metal bracket about 12 to 14 inches uh, square well triangle and that's what's bolted and holds this uh, holds the position here uh, added the uh, plywood up front to kind of cut into the snow and then uh, obviously for the weight I just have a couple of cinder blocks up there um, I did this morning run this and this beam here got loose so I'm gonna have to fix that up throw a couple of screws in there and that should wrap that one up and tighten it up again but uh, it does a phenomenal job uh, flattening out the road and, and kind of helping my neighbor with his snowplow. So we'll keep doing it and keep the road open so that, uh, you know, we can get in and out of here. And despite the weather, we still got a few pigs. We've got to open him up. Mr. Pig just woke up, and he is hungry. So we're gonna get him fed, get him some water. So if you've been watching our channel, you'll know that uh, you know, we've got a nice bin for water set up in here, but with this kind of snow, there's really nothing we can do as, as far as getting that freed up. So basically what we do now is we've got, we just have a little rubber tub inside. We pour the water in there, step away for a few minutes, let them drink some water, and then we use that same tub for his food. snow is not very heavy so I think what I'm gonna do is it was very easy to open up the little path so we're gonna leave his water in the black uh, tub we've got and uh, we're gonna go feed him in his feeder. Now <laughs> it's pretty tough to feed him in his feeder so it's kind of a He's a tricky one, so we're gonna throw a little bit of food in the snow, let him run around for it, and then we'll go feed him. And that 
That's it. So, well, pig is in there eating. Looks like his water's already mushed up, so we'll get him some fresh water here in just a minute. But uh, he will, after today, will have trampled most of the snow down. And uh, so he'll be okay in here. All right, so now, now we gotta go move more snow. So remarkably, these panels uh, that are a little bit covered in snow, uh, we will still get solar, even on a day like today. Uh, we're not going to get much, about 200 to 300 watts, but it is certainly worth cleaning these panels off to help throw some more power in those batteries. Hey, so we are now sitting in the truck and we are hooked up to our V plow, which is our drag behind plow uh, that is built. Uh, I'm going to try. So we're going to try and get some footage here for you guys. I don't know how well this is going to work. So we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. kind of give you an idea of how well this works so I am actually in the road right now and the surface is definitely cleaned off uh, you can tell on the you know right here on the edges here unfortunately my plow can't always push the snow up all over the banks I have it some on this side as well but you know I'm working in conjunction with one of our neighbors who has a plow so by doing what I'm doing, I get to, you know, make a nice smooth surface and then uh, kind of get mo the majority of the snow off of the road. Neighbor comes by with his plow, kind of pushes the banks back a little bit and uh, everybody on our, on our road is happy and we can get, all get out. Uh, the V plow needs a little bit of work. Uh, it has taken quite a beating uh, this year already, but uh, I'm hoping to uh to get it through the winter so we'll see uh we'll keep running it as long as i can and uh you know again it's a very simple design um it's a little it's it's quite wide uh, at the ends which is great because we have no control over it and as you saw in the clip i just played um you know it does tend to go back and forth uh, anybody who's ever had one of these v plows will, you know will tell you if you're just pulling it by a chain you're going to get that back and forth um, but i mean it does a great job i mean it works and as long as you have banks that aren't too high uh you know it'll push the snow off of the banks or push them over it i just want to add this you know this v plow here is not intended to replace an actual plow mounted to a truck uh, and, you know, honestly, it's not going to perform as well as a normal plow would. Uh, Jen and I uh, do plan to get a plow truck uh, when the time is right. And, uh, you know, until then, we'll continue to use this and help out our neighbor the best we can. Um, you know, again, hopefully, you know, we get a plow truck for next winter. That's the plan. And uh, then we can really, you know... We can really make a difference on the road uh th this thing here has some huge limitations uh, but if you're trying to just move snow off the road like we are this works great um, the other downside is turning around uh, the thing weighs a ton and uh, so i have to be able to turn the truck around i can't just unhook it turn it you know pull it and uh, turn it because it's that's that's not going to happen so all right on to the next project.